Right about now, I think you're all probably thinking how lucky my wife is <laughs> to be married to somebody as cultured and enlightened as myself. I have to tell you though, I consider myself the lucky one. My wife makes me a better human being. I don't think I really ever understood what a disgusting human being I was <laughs> when I was single. Marriage has a way of making you confront things about yourself and sometimes it's scary what you find. Case in point. <laughs> the day before Jessica and I got married, she sat me down and she's like, tomorrow we are going to be husband and wife. This means we should not have any secrets. And I was like, honestly, honey, that is the stupidest thing you've ever said. I don't know what they teach you in that yoga class you go to every day, but you have to trust me. The only reason you've agreed to marry me is because I keep secrets from you. <laughs> to which Jessica responds, no, sir. I say we lay it all out on the line now so we are not caught by surprise later. Why don't you tell me the worst thing you have ever done and I will tell you the worst thing I ever did. And I was like, honey, you have no idea the tornado of filth that you are driving us into right now. And I am begging you, forget this nonsense. Let us go split a scone and speak of happier things. <laughs> and then Jessica says, well, I don't know if this will make you feel any better, mister, but I'm no angel either. I have done some pretty bad stuff in my past. I was like, what'd you do? <laughs> And she says, okay, I'll go first, but I want you to know it is the most terrible thing I have ever done. I've never told another human being, and I am ashamed of it every day of my life. I was like, cleanse that soul. <laughs> and Jessica says, one time I got very drunk, and I gave a guy a hand job for cocaine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I did not know what to say to that. Because <laughs> I once gave a guy a hand job for cocaine. <laughs> and I wasn't even drunk, and I am not proud of the fact that until that very moment, I didn't even know I was supposed to be ashamed of it. I, I, I just thought that's how you get cocaine. You, you give guys hand jobs. It's how my mom taught me and her mom taught her. I was like, honestly, honey, we're gonna be up all night if we're going to admit normal stuff, too. <laughs> She's like, do you still love me? I was like, oh my God, of course I still love you, honey. She's like, promise you're not gonna tell anyone? I was like, what am I gonna go on stage and announce it to a bunch of strangers? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Girls and their trust issues. But excuse me people of Denver, Colorado. I would like to just state this fact. You should not keep secrets from your husband or your wife. You're just cheating yourself out of the best part of marriage, which is the fact that there's another human being in this big world who truly knows you and still loves you, despite all the gross stuff you did before and all the perverted stuff you would like to do going forward.